and then I have to go and get it and sometimes they don't even let me get it because they know Mike wanted to buy it and they think he's underage and then it's this big old deal of me trying to smuggle alcohol to underage minors and then I'm looking at Mike like he's ridiculous and I'm like all this trouble for a damn six pack of Corona. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what? Up. So, as you can tell, there is an echo in this video. I'm going to try my best to prevent that from happening, but I am in the bathroom, different location, different lighting, trying to figure out what I like, and there might be a bad echo. That's all. I'm just trying to warn y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about mistakes Germans make in the United States. I've made videos like this, like German mistakes Germans make in English and stuff, but since Mike has been with me in the United States, I think I've been like radaring in on his mistakes. I notice them and then they stick with me and then I start noticing them out in public with German people. We are currently in Lee County. You know, there's a huge German population here. You're most likely going to bump in to at least one German person here at least a day, which is crazy to think, but Germans seriously are taking over everything. With this video, I'm trying to help people, German people in particular, that make these mistakes because I have heard it from a bunch of y'all here in the good old US of A and hope Hopefully, you know, it helps y'all if you come here to live, visit, or whatever. But yeah, the first one is going to be hello all or hello all together. I think you could say hello all maybe and people would get the gist of what you're saying. But when you say hello all together, it just sounds weird. But in German, they have this thing called hallo zusammen, zusammen. And it's just a greeting, like a general overlay greeting for everyone in the room. Sometimes German people will literally translate it or translate it to the literal meaning and then say it and it doesn't sound right. Just say, hey, you guys, hey, everyone, hello, you don't have to say hello all, hello um, all together, hello together. You don't have to say any of that kind of stuff. So yeah, the next one is going to be a little confusing, but Mike has made this mistake and I can understand why it's a little confusing. But when you meet someone, let's say for the second time, like you know who they are, you don't have to be like best friends with them or anything, but you, your acquaintances, you've met before, you've exchanged names. So you sort of know, hey, that's that dude, that's that dude. When you say bye, you don't say nice to meet you. You say nice to see you or nice to see you again. He was like, Haley, what do I say when you meet someone for the second time? It's not nice to meet you. As I said, no, that's usually what you meet when you say the first time you meet someone. He's like, oh, okay. And he was just like honestly confused about it. But yeah, just say nice to see you, nice seeing you. That's it. You don't even have to say that. You can say, hey, bye. What? Deuces. The next point is going to be a point that Mike hates and every time we argue about this because he still hasn't gotten in his head. He's been here for I think two months now and he still hasn't really picked up on it. And it is saying the tip amount with the number. For us in the United States, our tipping system is a little different aside from having to add, you know, 15 to 20 to 25 percent. So for us, I've talked about this in one of my videos before, you give the waitress your money or your credit card, debit card, whatever it is, she takes it, swipes it, and then she gets another receipt or a little printed out paper where you have to write the tip in. And then once she swipes your card, she has to enter in the tip amount that you give her. In Germany, um, let's say the bill is $27. You say make it 30, that's it. Mike always will say the amount. Like if the bill's 27, he'll say, make it 30 or whatever the amount has to be. Instead of just accepting the fact that he has to give the lady the card, she has to swipe the card, bring him back the paper and he has to fill it out himself. So there's an extra step in the American tipping system. The next one is going to be saying dressing for sauce and then the waitresses get really confused. I don't know why, but German people sometimes interchange dressing and sauce. Dressing is what you put on a salat. Sauce, sauce is what you get usually on the side of something. Caesar, Italian, vinaigrette, French, and those are what you put on a salad. Now, for sauces, you have all the things like ketchup, mayo, um, mustard, honey chipotle. Those are things that are on the side, not really for a, a salad. But German people, sometimes they just mix them up and then they say, oh, I don't want my um, burger with any dressing. And the Americans looking at him like, Mm -hmm. So the next point is something that has happened to me personally and it has nothing to do with Mike because Mike does not smoke, but it is smoking 
like near a bunch of people or very close to people. There are places in the United States where smoking is acceptable at a few bars, at a few locations, in public. I mean, in public, it's generally not accepted. I don't think so. Uh, people are gonna disagree. You get a very sideways glance from people, like a, what are you doing? But sometimes German people, they just enjoy smoking. They smoke more, I feel like, in Germany than in the United States. And they feel like it's okay to smoke in public or especially at bars that say smoking is okay. German people will openly smoke there. But it's still not okay. Especially in Florida or where I live and all the people I know. If someone, if we're at a bar and it's a smoking bar and someone's sitting right next to you and smoking and blowing their smoke in your face, then someone will most likely tell you, hey, could you please step outside or could you go somewhere else? I know a lot of German people are gonna be like, excuse me, you're telling me that in a place that allows smoking that you want me to move and get out because you don't like it? There are gonna be some times where people will be like, no, I don't wanna move, but the general census around smoking is that if you're smoking near someone and you know the smoke is going in everyone's face and people don't like it, you should move. In Germany, I've told people to please stop smoking or blowing in my face and then they look at me like I'm crazy. Was willst du? Ja, das geht nicht, Mädel. Du spinnst doch. And the last and final point, you guys, which is the most important because this happens to Mike often. Do not forget <laughs> your ID when you are buying alcohol in the United States because the drinking age is 21. The buying alcohol age is 21. So if you are 35, if you are 40, if you are 60 and you look like a young whippersnapper, if you do not have your ID to prove that you are 21 to 100, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to buy alcohol, you guys. Mike buys beer, he'll forget his ID, and he'll be like, you're really not gonna let me buy this six pack of beer because I don't have my ID. He's like, you can clearly see that I don't look under 21. Yeah, but it's for anybody that looks under 60. And then I have to go and get it, and sometimes they don't even let me get it because they know Mike wanted to buy it and they think he's underage, and then it's this big old deal of me trying to smuggle alcohol to underage minors, and then I'm looking at Mike like he's ridiculous and I'm like, all this trouble for a damn six pack of Corona? Seriously, Mike? So yeah, do not forget your ID. And also, it's better to have your passport than your ID card. And at least on a um, passport, it's the same. It's generally the same as a United States passport and people are, can find it and navigate it easily. So yeah, um, I think those are it. I hope I didn't offend anyone with this video. I didn't mean to you guys. I meant everything in a nice way. It's just to help you guys with some of the things that I've noticed. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I love y'all. Bye bye.